Kevin Robinson writes, when are they going to announce Adam Warlock as part of the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy? I'm kind of surprised that this has not been brought up yet seeing as he is one of the holders of the Infinity Gems, the gems that went together form the powerful Infinity Gauntlet, and is a, a frequent member of the Guardians. This has been bothering me now for a while and just wanted to know your guys' thoughts on the matter. Um, I don't think, I, I mean this is going to be heartbreaking to you uh, Kevin, but I don't think Adam Warlock, they have any plans to have Adam Warlock in, in the movie. And and that's okay. Now, let's call a spade a spade. While I really like Guardians of the Galaxy, the comic books, and I only read them not too long ago because, you know, they started talking about maybe doing a movie of them. The fact of the matter is, it's going to be difficult to do a movie about a team of heroes that we've never met, that most people have never heard of. I mean, come on, really, who's heard of Rocket Raccoon? <laughs> There's a team member named Rocket Raccoon. How many <laughs> non-comic book fans out there have ever heard of Rocket Raccoon? Somewhere around zero. Somewhere around zero. So you've got Drax the Destroyer, who nobody's heard of. Rocket Raccoon, that nobody's heard of. So you have these five characters. You know, no one's heard of Star Lord. So you've got to introduce all these characters, which means you can't. You got to limit the size of the team and limit who's in there. Now I know that maybe Adam Warlock is, you know, higher ranked on your. Uh, you know, preference list as to which characters they're actually going to have in the movie, as opposed to some of the ones they're actually having. That's understandable. But they do have to keep it to a certain number, and they've got a plan as to why. So look, at, I, I'm not saying it's absolutely impossible that Adam Warlock could at some point pop up in there, but I believe that they do not have any plans for an Adam Warlock to be there. And look, the most important thing in the world is not to stick completely accurate to the comic book. That's why some comic book movies fail because they try too hard to stick too true to the comic book. You gotta not worry about that when you're making an adaptation like this. You have to just make the best movie you can. You have to adapt it. Because just because something works really well on a printed page, that doesn't necessarily mean it'll work on the big screen. Hence the word adaptation. You take it, you change it in such a way so that it works best in this new medium. And in a two hour movie, you gotta limit the characters, limit how much is going on so you can actually enrich it as much as you can, leading into the Avengers 2. So, Adam Warlock probably won't be there, and I really don't think that's that bad of a thing. Maybe disappointing, but not that bad of a thing. <laughs> Life goes on. Life goes on. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to stop what you're doing and subscribe to our AMC Theaters YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the movie news, editorials, and our AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about all our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.